This is my follow-up video to my earlier review of this uh, Hanskit 9305 capital D uh, power supply and soldering station. Um, in my previous video I mentioned that the heat gun tends not to turn off automatically when you put it back in its holder as it's supposed to unless you get it oriented in exactly the right position. Um, I opened it up and what I found is inside there's uh, a reed switch in here which interacts with some magnets here um, and that's why you had to get it in the right position. I actually put in um, two more reed switches in parallel so that there were more reed switches around the circumference and that has improved the position although uh, you still occasionally put it down in a, in a certain position and it won't uh, turn off. Um, I, I mentioned that I found this soldering stand to be too light and that it skates around, uh, which is inconvenient. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there, but I filled up, there's a, there's a hollow inside here. I filled it all up with um, old nails and then potted it in epoxy and it's quite heavy now and uh, it doesn't skate, it's quite good. Um, I mentioned the problem with the uh, current reading not being particularly accurate. If you're trying to use it for uh, fine measurements, it's just too inaccurate. I, I did take the cover off and have a look and there are adjustments in there and you can actually adjust or calibrate, try to calibrate the uh, current measurement, but it really doesn't work because the curves are wrong. So that if you, if you get the uh, adjustment correct for current at the low current range, it will be wrong at the high current range and vice versa. So it's not possible to correct it. I did raise it with the uh, with um, Hanskit who sold it to me. Um, they admitted that the current measuring does not conform to the specification they advertise. Um, but uh, after I'd pestered them about a replacement, they just went silent. So they clearly uh, don't provide good customer service in that respect. Um, and then um, the final thing is that um, I've begun to realize that really the using a, a single knob here to control voltage with uh, a potentiometer that only turns, I suppose, about 320 degrees or so to control a voltage that goes all the way from zero to 30 volts is just too coarse. Um, you, trying to get an exact voltage, you have to fiddle around for a long time. And while it does have this fine voltage control down here, that's very fine. So that I just de to demonstrate, if I set this at, um, try, if I try to set this at uh, nine volts exactly, so I, it's quite fiddly to try to get it as close as you can. And then there's only a very small range on the fine tuning. So it's quite hard to get it exactly the spot. You can do it, but it's just very fiddly. And for something that goes all the way up to 30 volts, I think really it needs to have multiple ranges so that um, you can click to a high and a low range or, or alternatively use a potentiometer that has multiple turns so that you can adjust it far more finely. It's, it's, it's easier in the higher ranges, but in the lower ranges, if you're down around the sort of two and three volt level, trying to get an exact, um, an exact voltage is really very tough. So my current take on it is that I'm not really happy with it. Um, it's okay, the soldering function works really well, heats up well, heat gun works well. It's okay for a coarse kind of a power supply, but the fact that the ammeter is so badly off and um, the coarseness of the voltage tuning without multiple ranges is really, makes it awkward to work with. Hands kit freely acknowledged that their um, specification for this was wrong. This didn't meet specification as far as the um, ammeter accuracy is concerned, um, but they just, didn't propose to do anything about it. It was just tough luck. Um, basically, I can't recommend a product with um, that sort of poor service and poor attitude. And I would say buy something else. We shouldn't be um, supporting manufacturers uh, like Hanskid if that's going to be their attitude. Um, I'll probably keep it, but um, yeah, and I can't say I'm happy with it.